Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again and today some quick tips and tricks on how to look after your Pepe Tools disc cutter. So, follow me. So, in order to keep the cutters in perfect condition we're going to sharpen them. Now the first thing I need to do is to clean off any residue or Pepe lube uh, and you see this on the edges here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some alcohol and a cloth and I'm just going to rub the ends to remove any traces of the Pepe lube. Now to sharpen the cutters we need some 240 grit emery paper or thereabouts and you need a smooth flat surface so I'm using the surface of my bench here or failing that if you've got a Pepe Tools designer bench block you can use that and just cut a little piece of emery paper out to sit on the top. If your emery paper is a bit curly, just use some tape to fasten it down around the edges, so keep it nice and flat. So now that I've got my emery paper taped down, I'm just going to get a black sharpie marker and I'm going to go all over the surface of the cutting end there, nice and uniform. And it's important that you get all the way right round the edges and so it's all covered and nice and black and even. Now the purpose of blackening it is that we're going to sand it but I'm just going to sand it just enough to remove that black layer and that will show us that we're doing it nice and evenly. On your armor paper just add a couple of little drops of oil. This is just general household, general use little oil can. Now remember that the face of the cutter is at a slight angle so it's very important to keep the face of the cutter flat on your surface. You want to hold it firmly and use a figure eight motion just all the way around keeping it flat keeping it parallel and keeping that cutting face perfectly flat to your surface and just keep moving in a figure eight and then look at it and you want to make sure that you've got a nice even surface and that you've removed all of that black marker. Doesn't take much, just a couple of seconds, nice and gentle. And you also want to be careful that you don't tip it or tilt it. You don't want to round off these edges at all. So you keep it nice and flat, don't tilt it, don't roll it and do not under any circumstances file the edges there. You are only filing the cutting surface. And then there we go, just a little white with the cloth, just get any bits off it. And you can see, if you can see any black marks on there from the marker then just continue on until they're all gone and you've got a nice kind of polished edge there and what that's done is that has just helped to sharpen up this edge here simple as that if you find any little marks on the surfaces uh, maybe little bits of dirt or oxide or something you can use a metal polish if you want to just remove those with a soft rag so here I'm using this tube of cream metal polish uh, and you can get this kind of stuff in uh, your car store or auto store and it's designed for just polishing metal, bumpers, car fenders, stuff like that. So, just a little drop onto a rag of the paste. And then just polish the surface of your metal. And that will help to remove any dirt, give it a little bit of polish. And it will also help to protect it against the future corrosion. Now I live in the north of England here which is quite wet, it rains a lot and I'm also close to the sea so the combination of a damp humid weather and the salty sea air uh, does make everything rust. So I like to protect all my tools with a kind of aerosol oil protectant, uh, you know this kind of stuff, it displaces water, uh, there's lots of brands on the market so just a little drop on all the tools and then again just give them a rub with a cloth to just coat them and that will help to protect them all against the rust and the moisture and it also helps to lubricate them as well so it helps when you're cutting through your metal 
So that's all my cutters cleaned, polished and oiled and they're good as new for a good few months now. But don't forget to give a little bit of attention to the actual disc cutter itself. If you completely unscrew the nut at the top there, you can actually separate the two plates. And so the first thing I can do is just to clean both of these surfaces here. Don't file them, don't abrade them, and you certainly don't want to do any damage to these cutting edges here. But just lightly clean it, remove any debris or any bits of metal that might be in there. Now the same as with your cutters, um, use some alcohol to remove any bits of wax from the uh, from the Pepe lube and then once you're happy and it's nice and clean just give it a spray with protective oil or just use a few drops of regular household oil and just rub it in and get that oil right over the surface and again it helps to lubricate it, it protects it, it stops it from rusting, it helps to clean it so make sure that the whole thing has got a nice light coating of the protective spray oil. So there we go, both sides have been cleaned and they've been sprayed with the spray oil. Um, before I reassemble it, I'm just going to use a, some of the regular household oil and I'm going to put a drop of oil on the three studs, they're, they're the positioning pins that keep everything aligned. So I want them nice and lubricated so that it doesn't stick. And a little drop of oil on the central screw there. And if it runs over, it doesn't matter, oil's not a bad thing. And then I'm just going to reassemble it. And when you reassemble it, just make sure that you get the big hole lined up with the big hole. So I'll put it the correct way around so that all your holes line up. Now just a little tip here, when you're polishing the top surface, uh, use some of the household oil or some of the spray oil, that's fine but don't use anything abrasive, don't use the metal polish we talked about. Don't use that on the top because you could remove the lettering and the engraving off it which you don't want to do. So just clean that with oil, nice and gentle, give it a good coating and then there you go, it's good as new. Now final little tip, this is a bag of silica gel. It's a drying agent and you get this in packing material like especially if you buy like a computer or some electrical equipment you'll tend to get little packets of this in the packaging so don't throw them out use them and put them in your toolbox or if you haven't got them just go on the internet and you'll be able to buy these and this is a drying agent so what i like to do with my tools because i live near the sea i store all my metal tools in a plastic tub bag of silica gel in the tub and fasten it up and that will keep it nice and dry and protected from the damp and the salty air. So there you go guys, nice and simple. If you haven't seen them check out my other videos on the Pepe Tools disc cutter and also on the positioning dies that go with it. Remember to follow the advice, always use the red pad which protects the cutting faces and always use a brass mallet to protect the top of the cutters. Look after it and it will last you for years and years to come. I've been Dave Wilson, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.